Hey, it's me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Well, a little bit of water left here. Tiny bit. That's from taking my uh, pills. Morning. Oh, hey, I got some juice. Where did I get this from? Oh, well, I was at some store, some market, you know, Westside Market, but they have a, just have a, an extension. They have a, a, the original store is up there, 110th Street and Broadway on the east side, of, northeast side of the street. That's how we talk in New York, you know, we say, because cause at least Manhattan is in quadrants, you know what I mean? Well, you know, have the blocks. And so, you know, you have the, you know, you have the northeast, the south, the southeast, the, the northwest, the southwest, you know, northeast, you know, so you can tell. Anyway, so I went to this market. This is a mango ginger orange. I, why do they always put orange in the mango? Because because mango, I guess, is so expensive and so good that they just, you know. So this is mango ginger orange. Let's taste it. Let's see what it tastes like. Just as I thought. Anytime they say, orange is supposed to be listed last. And how come it tastes like orange to me? It doesn't taste like mango. I, I, darn sure I don't know where the ginger is. So I guess I'll never deal with that one again. That's that's not good. It tastes like orange. I don't really like orange. No, I take grapefruit over orange, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, well, I tell you, it's a struggle. <laughs> the world is in struggle. My goodness. Hey, can I tell you something that happened to me? Um, my brother, gosh, my brother, my brother, my older brother, Greg, he's like two and a half years older than I am, whatever it is, you know, <laughs> anyway, uh, he's homeless. I shouldn't say it that way, but you know, he chooses to be homeless. Let's put it that way. So if you want to find him, you got to find out on this, where on the street he is, right? Now you see, here's the thing. I know this and I also know my brother. Okay. Now. Um, about three weeks, two weeks ago, whatever it was, you know, I got out of contact with him somehow, you know, whatever, he lost his phone. Actually, somebody stole his phone and we was hanging out at LaGuardia Airport, whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> so I went and I actually bought him a new phone, you know, um, uh, right here. Whoa, it's right here. It's right here. I bought him a new phone and I think these phone... Somebody asked me, how, I know nothing about prices. Somebody asked me how much uh, did I pay, and I said something like $140, but that was wrong. Just like a 400 over $400 phone. Anyway, so this is it right here, the Moto G. But, um, it's, you know, all brand new, all sealed up and everything, like all sealed up. But I have no need for it. I mean, my OnePlus is fine enough for me, and the Moto G, you know, my brother bought another phone. Cause this is how he works. I, I, I should have known. I, why didn't I know this? What happened was this, uh, um, I fell out, you know, we, we, I couldn't contact him because he didn't have a phone. You know, somebody stole his phone, he didn't have a phone. Okay, so at the same time, he was discharged from, from one Lenox Hill Hospital, wherever it was, and, and they put him into the situation, he's quarantined for, uh, for 14 days, but you know, he, whatever, whatever he's done, right? But the problem is since he doesn't have a phone at this, this particular point, I can't contact him to tell him I got this, new phone for him, you know? So it ends up that, and I knew this was going to happen. I, it, it ends up that um, since this is the new month and he gets his, uh, we, we had just changed his bank card or whatever, have you, get some card for savings bank now. So he, so since he has his own bank card, what he did was soon as the month changed, he went and went out and bought a, a phone for himself. And I knew this was going to happen. You know, I, 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 somehow I know my brother is someone else people like, <sighs> I won't say he's a knucklehead because, you know, we all knuckleheads. But, you know, he just doesn't take orders, you know, just, just you know, you know, but I, I don't know. He's he's he, you know, so it does. So at least he's got a phone now so I can contact. I can call him all the time, whatever it is, or sometimes whatever he's up all the time. And I'll just hold on to this phone. He might have to do this for people, you know. Because nothing else, this pandemic, this pandemic is showing that everybody, everybody want to be themselves, you know, for a while. I'm just trying to figure out how long this is going to go on. This is, hey, for me, it's like really, now it's getting really bad. I, actually, I knew I was going to, I was, I had planned to come back to go back to South Africa the end of November, December. Okay. I had planned that anyway, when this pandemic hit, right. 
Now, South Africa, I just talked to my wife. South Africa is locked down now until October. First, it was locked down to the end of this month, I think, end of all the end of May or something. Anyway, it's locked down now. South Africa is locked down to October. I think it's because this pandemic is having a lot of governments, a lot of agencies, a lot of people, you know, readjust their thing, you know what I mean? So they can get over on things that they couldn't get over on before because of this herd mentality, this fear factor, whatever have you. Anyway, this all will work out, I suppose. I suppose. I'm supposing from a, I'm supposing from an undisclosed location in the pandemic center of New York City. Just thought I'd mention all that stuff.